This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Nurses are a crucial part of the healthcare system, and they're also frequent targets of violence in the workplace, according to their union. The Michigan Nurses Association said 75% of workplace assaults occur in healthcare. One nurse said that she's experienced it, and it's time for the state to pass laws to protect them. Senate Bills 303 and House Bill 5089 would require hospitals around the state to work to prevent attacks like that. One of those prevention tools include de-escalation training, which is something that nurses have been asking for. Senate Bill 303 was introduced back in May and House Bill 5089 was introduced in October. However, neither of the bills has had a committee hearing yet. Supporters are questioning the sentence of Danny Trevino, the self-proclaimed professor of pot who owned and operated dispensaries across the state. Tuesday, federal judge Paul Maloney sentenced Trevino to serve 15 years and six months in prison for violating state and federal law. While marijuana is now legal in Michigan, prosecutors say that Trevino repeatedly violated the law. His past drug convictions made it illegal for him to grow marijuana to sell to others. State regulators say that he was warned to stop, but he refused to listen. Eventually, the U.S. Department of Justice came after him. Trevino says that he didn't know that he was doing anything wrong. The federal government is getting ready to hold another census. The National Republican Party is also having its own census. But several people in mid-Michigan say that they're confused after getting a letter saying President Donald Trump is requesting a census of every congressional district to be done right away. Now, this is causing confusion because the letter isn't coming from the government. It looks like a census letter. It's got your name on it. Don't destroy a lot of tracking numbers, said Paul Burry, who received the letter. The first letter says that it is a 2020 congressional census. Now, the U.S. Census Bureau said that it will be sending out several surveys this year. Most of them are asking about households and businesses. You can expect to see those in your mailbox in about a month. Mid-Michigan schools are giving $50 vouchers to low-income students to buy new shoes. Students that come from low-income families are on free or reduced lunch or are homeless qualify. Schools within a 25-mile radius of downtown Lansing have applications for students who want a voucher. Meyer and Shoe Carnival are partners with the Greater Lansing Old Newsboys Association who supply the vouchers. In order to use one, all parents have to do is present it to an employee at checkout at Meyer or Shoe Carnival, and they will receive the $50 payment. The program has helped more than 6,000 students this year and allows them to buy whatever kind of shoe that they want. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.